Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher. Epic just dropped the first trailer of Season 7. We got quite a bit of information from this first trailer. First, it is inside a spaceship, and there are some symbols in the background that are a little bit blurred. We've seen some of these symbols. Some of them we haven't seen, and some of them actually have a little bit more information that they're giving away. So I'm going to go over the trailer, what it means for Season 7. I'm also going to talk about some very juicy leak that we just found out about that pretty much confirms the removal of a big part of the Fortnite game right now and some upcoming updates and changes that Epic has also promised as a part of season seven. So we've got a lot to cover in today's video. If you guys wanna stay up to date with the Fortnite content, everything that's coming to the game, be sure to like and subscribe so you're notified whenever we post. First thing is this trailer, right? First of all, it confirms the alien theme. We're inside a spaceship. You see like the little blue aura, similar to the aura that you see in the alien abduction. And then we also see purple symbols in the background. Um, I don't know what this guy's landing so late for. Some of these purple symbols actually stand out. We've seen them on the crop fields that are popping up. And actually, there was a, an additional crop field that appeared. There's an additional crop field that appeared just today. But here's, here's the important part is one of these symbols we have not seen in the crop fields. We have not seen in the teasers and leaks. And at first people were wondering, you know, what's this symbol about? Where is it from? We actually have seen this in the Fortnite Batman comics. In issue four, I talked about this before, but Batman and the Fortnite characters went into the underground passageway. They basically went into the bunker where the IO guards have their secret base and they work under the map. And they fought these stone golems that were obviously trying to protect some information or protect something. And the stone golems had a purple icon on them that was glowing and that was actually their weak point and that was most likely what was powering them and that's the exact symbol that we see in this trailer so what does this mean the alien technology or the aliens themselves are powering the stone golem this kind of makes me doubt the aliens intentions a little bit more because there's a lot of potential theories about what might be going down so here, here's here's the thing maybe the io guards stole the alien technology by the way it is wild week this is the final wild week everything is 50 percent off exotics you know rifts uh any anything except upgrades are 50 percent off from npcs it's not a very wild week uh honestly these wild weeks like are pretty tame they're not that wild that's just my feedback i think they could have been done a lot better and hopefully the next time they do wild week it actually does feel a little bit wild and i don't mean break the game but like just for example the fishing week you know we just had more fish and that's about it where we could have had like rift fish come back to the game during the fishing week so there's a lot of different ways they could have gone about it uh, like it, it's a, it's appreciated that they're changing things up and they're doing different stuff but I really do think that it 100% could have been done way, way better. Like, you don't have to completely break the game, but I, I think most of you can agree that the Wild Weeks have been a little underwhelming. People might be thinking the aliens are just visiting, right? Maybe the IO guards are against the aliens or the aliens are disrupting the flow of the island. My theory is a little bit more sinister. We know that Fortnite is a simulation and people are trying to escape the simulation. I have a feeling that these aliens are the actual like creators of this simulation. Like the IO guards are just in charge of keeping everything together and, and, and like keeping people from escaping. And with all the people escaping the loop recently and all the chaos, the aliens might be coming back to check on their project. Speaking of that, they're coming is the name of the season. We got that confirmation via the trailer. Interesting name, obviously referring to the aliens. Now it doesn't say that they're coming back. It just says, it just says they're coming, which is, uh, I need to delete this guy. Eat dirt. So the question still remains, will we see the rock golems in the next season? Will we be able to go on a ground into the IO guards facility? Since Batman like opened the bunker and went down there, will it remain open? Will there be some sort of underground passageway, underground mobility device? This could also be a buildup to an event where we end up going underneath or something that's gonna happen in future seasons. But we do know now the rock golems are directly linked with this alien technology because we're seeing these symbols inside their spaceship. Another thing to talk about, Fortnite announced that in the next season, they are going to enable the high quality graphics 
that they brought to the next gen consoles but for pc so if you remember you know the next gen consoles have like the high quality you know clouds and weather effects and all that stuff well they're gonna bring that to pc it might even have more options because pc has more capabilities of really utilizing high quality graphics i personally play on performance mode because i'm a super sweat and i need every fps i can get so i don't mind if my game looks like minecraft but some people do like having their graphics looking really good and you're gonna be really excited to know that epic announced today that they're gonna make that a possibility we have some more information hypex very prominent leaker very trusted leaker and apparently he knows a lot more than he's willing to tell he said he's going to leak a lot of stuff in the last day or two leading up to the season and we'll be sure to cover that information when it comes out but he confirmed that next season the primal pois and the primal weapons are all gone now this could mean a lot of things are makeshift weapons gone too well we have the option to upgrade weapons to either mechanical or alien will, will there be some sort of new alien weapons that we have that we can upgrade to will that will the crafting system completely be removed i highly doubt it or bows gone because in my opinion bows came as a part of the primal season that could mean the return of snipers if you're a fan of sniper rifles you could be very happy to know that the snipers could very very well return uh next season as a, as a result of the bows being vaulted i'm personally excited i want to see all new pois i don't want the primal pois to exist anymore I, I don't want the primal weapons to exist like the primal primal pistol like geez that thing was did anybody actually use that thing like non-ironically no mats man How do I kill a guy and end up with less mats than I had to start? All right, guys. Removal of primals are, is going to be handled and what it's actually going to mean for the game. Some other things is we do know there's going to be a alien uh, fish stick as part of the battle pass. Talked about in the past, uh, Loki and Samus as potential secret battle pass skins. They were in the trailer or in the background of one of the loading screens. And then we also talked about, again, the, the new life forms that are coming. The kangaroos, the octopus but those are coming we have some weird creatures coming to the game i'm ready i'm ready we got one more player to fight i think i hit him pretty hard right there gg all right guys season seven's around the corner be sure to subscribe so that you know all the information as soon as it comes out 